guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I am finally back. I know it's been a little while since I've been on here putting a tutorial or any videos. So I did just recently upload my bridal shower video. I was super, super busy planning that. And now I'm even more busy planning my wedding. So it is coming up in a few months. I have a few trips coming up. So I have been crazy busy and I've been doing all that I can to get back here to film more videos for you guys. I know we're like right in the middle of like Halloween season where like everyone's putting like their Halloween look tutorials and all of that and doing all their super creative looks, which I was supposed to do. And I promised you guys that I was gonna go like super all out this year, but honestly, I try. Like I really did try to like time it out and there's absolutely like no way that I could like put in any like really good quality like content videos for you guys so i'd rather not do any halloween looks this year at all than put on like halfway like not really like full effort like content videos for you guys but i promise that next year i will this year has just been like <sighs> this wedding planning you guys it's crazy it's crazy i've never planned like anything this big in my life so this is like the first time I do anything like this and it's definitely been like a learning process but I'm trying to just relax and enjoy the whole process, the whole year. I feel like the year has like flew by. I'm getting married in literally like a few months, like a few months I will be a bride. So I'm kind of freaking out on the inside too. So this is like really cool for me to be sitting down and doing a video, kind of doing my makeup. It's a good time for me to like de-stress and do something that I love doing, which is do my makeup and showing you guys how to do it. So yeah, this year I'm doing a kind of pretty Halloween look, nothing complicated or like super spooky. So I just did um, an eye look that was inspired by like Halloween colors. So like the typical like green, orange, black, purples. So I kind of incorporated the green and the purple into this and I added a black lip just to give that more like Halloween vibe. So if any of you are looking for like a kind of like Halloween look where you don't really want to wear a costume, you kind of just want to do like a cute Halloween like makeup look, this is a really, really cute one. You could even add like a little witch hat or like cat ears and like make it a thing. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't have to be crazy. Even this would be cute. So yeah, if you want to know how I got this cute, kind of smoky Halloween look, please keep watching. All right, so unfortunately for today's look, there is several palettes that I'm using, but that's just because there was like different shades that I really wanted to use for certain things. So there are different palettes that I use, but it's really not that big of a deal. So let's get started. I'm gonna, as usual, go in with my Tarte Shape Tip Concealer and apply some to my eye to prep it. Then I'm taking a flat brush and I am blending this all out on the lid. Then I'm going in with the Beauty Bakery Translucent Setting Powder. Ooh, there's a lot. I'm going in with this Real Techniques brush. This is the setting brush. And I'm just going to pop some of that over the lid. Excuse me. So let's get started on the eye. There is quite a few steps for this and quite a lot of products that I used for this look. So we're going to start with the Kat Von D Beauty Metal Matte. I've had this palette for a long, 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 long time. And I say this every single time that I bring this palette out for a tutorial, just because it's been forever. Like it's actually, I think it was like one of my first um, eyeshadow palettes ever. It just has some really, really great colors, especially for like a very like dark Halloween look. So I'll open it up. This is what it looks like. And we're going to be going in with the shade Ribbon right here. And we're going to be mixing it with this shade right here called Velvet. This is going to go right in the crease right here. I do take this slightly above the actual crease line just because I have hooded eyes. And sometimes you just need to go a little bit higher for it to look 
a parent over the crease. And I do want this to kind of show. We're gonna blend it in with a lighter purple or like fuchsia-ish color in a second. But this is the first step that I do. So I basically just pack this on, blend it out. And I just apply like a little bit more product if I feel like it needs a little bit more pigmentation. So it's gonna start off like not looking as dark, but once we start like blending everything in together, it's gonna start looking a lot darker, kind of like this eye right here, it's super, super dark. I'm gonna lightly start taking this out, extending it just a little bit. As you can see, this is extremely extended. So that is the effect we wanna give on the eye today. And the next thing I'm going to do is hop on to a different eyeshadow palette. This is the BH Cosmetics and Daisy Marquez palette, one of my favorite palettes recently. So we're going to be taking this shade right here called Passion Fruit. And I'm going in with a Sigma Blending E36 brush, tapping into that. And basically what we're going to do is... Start blending this out above where you just applied that really dark purple. We're just blending it out. Make sure there's no harsh lines. That's really the other point of doing this is that you want to make sure that it's blended in together. I'm going to start extending this out now. So we've got a little bit of a blend going on here. I'm going to go back in with that Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette and those two purple shades. And I'm going to apply a little bit more into the crease and start kind of creating a smoother transition between these two colors. Sometimes when you blend in a lighter color into a darker color, you can start to lose like the pigmentation of that darker color. So that's why I'm going back in just to... Give it a little bit more intensity. Now I'm gonna go back in with that, not really applying any new product to it. I'm just blending that out once again with whatever was left on this brush. We're going to stick with the Daisy Marquez BH palette and we're gonna be going into the black shade in this palette called Matter, it's right here. So I'm taking this Sigma eye shading brush and just really dipping into this shadow and we're going to go ahead and pack this on to the lid it may take a few layers for it to look like really intense so just be patient with it i also start bringing it kind of up into the crease just so everything can start blending in and creating that smooth transition. So now I'm going back in with that pencil brush, the first brush I used. And as you can see, there are some harsh lines here. I'm just going over that and blending those in so they're not as harsh. Especially right here. You don't want this tail to be all blotchy and harsh so you could even stop right here and just fill in the lower lash line with some black liner and it could totally be a look but i am adding a little bit of extra stuff so we're gonna go in with some shimmer now i was all over the place with these shimmers like i used like different types of shimmers so bear with me i'm so sorry that i did this i know that it's like kind of inconvenient when people use like a bunch of different palettes and tutorials but sometimes I just can't help it like I just need to the first palette I went in with to start the shimmer on the eyelid is the beauty crop stargazing palette so on the inside there's like a bunch of different like glitters and stuff so I'm going in with this shade right here called galaxy so I'm just packing this on to the lid Then I moved on to another palette. I'm so sorry, but I went on to the Too Faced Life's of Festival palette. This is what it looks like. It's actually like really, really super cute. And we are going to be going in with the shade called Artist Pass. So it's this very, very like 
iridescent color right here. Now I'm applying this to the lid, same process as I did for the first shimmer. Oh, I love this color. Now we're moving on to like single shadows. Now these are really, really cool. Like these are my favorite to use. These are the ColourPop and Disney Designer Collection Super Shock Shadows. And even the ones that aren't like in the Disney Collection, just like the Super Shock Shadows from ColourPop alone are really amazing. I really love them, especially when I'm looking for that really good like pigmented like shimmer or sparkle. So I'm using the... Um, ones from the Disney Designer Collection. I got every single like little pack of the princesses from that collection. So for today, I'm mixing a little bit of A Whole New World, which is this right here, so pretty. And then I am mixing that in with Under the Sea, which is this one right here. So with a brush, that same flat like MAC 248 brush, I'm just going to be dipping into both of those, kind of mixing them around and then applying them on top of the shadows that I now have on the lid. Like, look, you guys. I barely tapped on those super shock shadows and I mean, this looks so good. Now we're moving on to the lower lash line. I'm actually going in with that black shadow matter from the Daisy Marquez palette and I'm going to start kind of applying some of this to the lower lash line so that I can blend it out with a pencil brush. So now I'm going over to the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. This is the one with all a bunch of different colors. This is it. We're going to be taking a mixture of these two green shades right here with that pencil brush. And we're going to blend out this black line that I put on the lower lash line. So just blending this out now. Like so. It's going to take a few coats to really get this green to look apparent. So just like kind of take your time. Make sure it's Blend it out really nicely. Okay, so camera kind of turned off, but I created this little peak here on the eye with some liner. I used the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper for that. Super defined little point. It's a brush point, so I love that for these kinds of things. So we have some green, as you can see, already on the lower lash line. So what I'm going to do is go in with the Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner. And I will be using a Sigma Winged Liner Brush. This is the E06 brush. And this is going in my waterline. Next thing I'm going to do is go back in with that under the sea super shock shadow and I'm going to be applying some of this into that lower lash line. I kind of want it to be a little bit shimmery. So I'm adding a little bit more onto the lower lash line here. So it's kind of like messy here on the lower lash line. So I am going to go in with this Sigma Edge Precision Brush. It looks like that. It's really cool. It's like a little triangle. And I'm just going to go in and clean up the line here. Kind of sweep it up. You see how I kind of made like a little bit of a... Okay, so I'm going to start prepping the lashes. The lashes I'm using today are Eden Rose Lashes. I don't know the name. I always forget the names because these boxes don't have like the names on them. These are super, super wispy. I wanted something really dramatic. So I will make sure that I find out the names of these and put it on the down below in the description box so you guys know which ones they are. Okay, so while that lash is drying off and getting tacky, there is one last touch that I did to the eye. So, well, like two touches maybe. I went in with the Super Shock Shadow in Iho. So it's kind of like um, white. 
with like a lot of sparkle and I just actually put like tiny bits of sparkle on the lid as well and like up here above the crease and then I'm gonna put some on the lower lash line as well okay so now this is the last thing that I do I go in with the this is the Stila Cosmetics Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow this is in the shade Perlina it looks like this it's kind of like a different like kind of iridescent as well so I'm grabbing the wand of that and the really small thin brush that I'm using and I'm grabbing some of that product from the applicator and I'm going to lightly apply some of this to the lower lash line okay so as you can see I did add these little uh, rhinestones here so I am going to add those now these are little rhinestones that I've had for like years I brought my mirror a little bit closer that's probably why you can see it right now one goes right about here okay so now we're gonna put some highlight I forgot that I didn't even put any highlight so this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit most likely going to be going in with a purple and like a mix of like yeah, different things. I'm mixing Luna and Spectra, basically. Now we're going on to the lips. So I think for this look, I wanted to do like the black lip just because it's part of like the whole Halloween thing. I guess I'll go in with this darker one. This is the darkest brown. I just needed to really outline like the shape of my lip. So I'm going in with the B Bella Dark Brown Lip Liner. I think I'm going to fill in my lips too with this color just to darken it up so that when I put the black lipstick it's a little bit darker. I'm going in with the NYX lip top coat now. Alright guys, this is the final look. Nothing too crazy this year for my Halloween looks because of everything that's going on with my wedding. I am right in the middle of my wedding planning, like right at the end. And I have so, so, so much to do. You guys have no idea. For any of you who have planned a wedding or like their own wedding or helped plan somebody's wedding, it is so much work. I can't believe like how much work goes into it. Like I already went into the whole process knowing that there was a lot has to go into like planning a wedding but when you're actually doing it it's crazy so I have like zero time to be doing like super 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 complicated looks but I promise that next year I'm gonna go like all out I should have enough time next year I will not be planning a wedding so I should have more time to do that I'm really sad that I wasn't able to do that this year I was really really looking forward to it but I still have some tutorials from last year if you're still looking for a Halloween look. I think I did a creepy doll look um, last year and like a queen of the dead look. So if you're looking for something that's kind of easy and doesn't require like a whole like costume get up, those are really cool ones. Check them out. I worked really, really hard on them. So I'm hoping to take it a uh, level up next year from those videos. But this is something cute, like the cute side of Halloween. This is like really cute if you don't really want to dress up in like a full costume. You kind of just want to do like a cute Halloween look. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, comment down below, and hit the bell for notifications so that whenever I post a video, you guys are the first ones to know. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at MUA for most of my makeup looks. So anything from these videos, the actual like makeup look will be on my Instagram. Happy early Halloween to all of you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!